two important structural proven domain, domain databases, well, there's three actually, but the two that are historical current view is CAF and SCOP. And both of them have been very important for our understanding of proven evolution works. So I will, go, so I will first go through CAF. So CAF is a database that has three different levels. The first level is called class, that basically just tells you uh, what is the main secondary structure elements of a domain. So this is, can be main alphas in this case. And then you have architecture, so that is a main level that tells you if it's like a bundle or if it's a solenoid or a barrel, I think that's, so they have different, some overall shapes of, of the fold. And then you can go down to, so that here, if you have for instance, an orthogonal bundle, you can then have different topologies or folds, basically things that look the same. So you have the helicases or arc repressors or something, so like sub D, etc. And then you can go to the topology, so that's the topologies. So then your topology in this case would be basically globin like, so everything looks like globin, like my globin and hemoglobin. And here, here you have four different groups you have globins, phycocytins, colisines, and diphtheriotoxins, middle domains. They all have similar shapes. And of course, if you go into the globins, you have, for instance, individual proteins that are myoglobin, hemoglobin, etc., that are all involved in oxygen transport, oxygen storage, etc. And you can do this, you can also in CAS, you can also browse through it, you can look at how uh, this, this, this domain is distributed and what, uh, how many there are, and different types. Uh, and you can uh, look at uh, assign the assigned many genomes, etc. So like a problem with CAS as well as COPY is not really up to date anymore. It's, it's about a year old, I think. But you have also additional information. SCOP, on the other hand, is a completely manual thing that is also has a similar architecture. You have a top root class, it's all alpha, all beta, all alpha, beta. This is like the class in, in, in uh, CAS. If you go into all alpha, you can see that there are Globins, they don't have these architectural levels. This is globins, so long hair, for hairpins. And here you can see globins, you have globin like and alpha helix feroxins. So they, they put phycocyanins in the same superfamily as CAF, while CAF put them in different ones, in different homology supergroups. So you have the phycocyanin like and the truncated hemoglobin and the globins. So that's a bit of manual decision if they are homologous or not. They're very similar structure, but the homology sequence identity is very, very low. But they probably are homologous, I would guess. And then you have you divide into hemoglobins at the lower levels. This is scope E, which is an extension that has tried to keep this up to date. So this is uh, updated, and uh, but it doesn't cover all the protein environments. But it's the same idea; it has to be a slightly different website. 